Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Mm. This was a reactor show. This is a reactor show, boys and girls. This is a reactor show. As you can see, I have reactor up and running. It's really mid, it's like a mini reactor. You can barely see it. It's reactor. It's still reactor. And what I also have is I have reactor running as what's this? An audio plugin. Because that's what, boys and girls. Reactor can also run as an audio plugin, and it's pretty incredible when you use it like that. It's, you know, think about it. Reactor creates audio, and then you process that audio in a series of filters, or EQs, or distortion boxes. That's what this is, a distortion box. Very complex distortion box. Driver combines a smooth... 12 dB octave state variable filter with a powerful distortion unit and interesting modulation capabilities. It is suitable for a wide range of applications from light saturation to very animated distortion. The top half of the interface consists of the basic filters and distortion controls. The lower half contains parameters related to modulation, including an envelope follower and an audio modulator. So there's a lot of stuff that this driver can do. A lot of stuff and really all i'm doing I, I don't have it i don't i don't have it on a synth today boys and girls i have it on a guitar because that's what a fucking distortion box is or that's what it goes on to me in rock and roll it goes on a guitar it doesn't necessarily always go on the e chord but it goes on a guitar and what i wanted to use today's episode to illustrate is that reactor is not only a synthesizer boys and girls it's an audio plugin so anything you have in this think about it a filter your favorite filter that monarch filter that classic moog that classic mini moog filter that classic four pole ladder filter that you know and love i'm gonna use it as an audio plugin you know, why don't you throw it on a guitar? See what that sounds like. Throw it on a voice. You can do anything you want, ladies and gentlemen, and that's what I wanted to take today's episode and prove to you. That's all this is. I didn't do anything with this setup. I said, what if I want to take this reactor block? What if I want to just do this? What if I want to just do this? What if I want to take this reactor block and just use it as an audio plug? That's a novel idea. Just an audio plug in by itself. I just have a mono channel. You can see this one is even X'd out. This one's like, nope, two is gone. Bye-bye. You might as well delete it. It's gone. You can't use it. I just have one as an audio in, going into driver, going into left side of this, going into that. Wouldn't even use this either. It's not needed. Because all I'm doing is going out bus five and bus five into here. And that's what you're hearing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> whatever you want with this so what I want to do is build a little bit of a, a pedal board and just maybe throw a little bit of a distortion and a delay and show you what that looks like show what that builds like because it's very simple 
It's very, very straightforward. So, and we can do this in blocks. There's effects. I got, I got some blocks effects. We got some different things. And right now, today, for today's episode, we have it running on a guitar track. So we don't have it running on a synth track. We don't have it running on a voice track. We don't have it for today's purpose. I've got my lovely guitar in hand. This guitar is actually new. It's a new guitar. And I love it. That's why I can barely keep my hands off of it. Her name is Charlotte. She's a heritage guitar, Les Paul style. But enough about Charlotte and more about Reactor. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to build something new. I'm basically going to build something like this and show you how I built it. But I'm going to add maybe one or two things to it. Who the fuck knows? Let's just build it. So what I'm going to do is what I always do, I think, here. I'm going to go into Reactor Blocks. I'm getting familiar with where my Blocks New is, so I'm trying to get fairly handy with learning where that is. What am I going to need for today? I'm not going to need jack shit. Other than the essentials. I don't even need that. I don't even need number two. Just need number one. Just number one. That's all we're going to do. All we're going to do for today. I like this driver. Let's just add it. I like it. Let's throw that in. Patch it in. Let's not patch it in. Let's see what else we got. Because I'm going to build a board. It's a board, right? So it's going to be a little pedal board. And... What else do we want to put in here? Let's see. Let's take a look. Maybe something from the community. Our lovely community. The community is the gift. The gift that keeps on giving. It always gives. It gives and it gives and it gives. And if you want to go check out something else, it gives some more, and it gives, and it, and it gives, and it gives. Put this tape delay. I saw that, and I think I wanted to use it, and I didn't use it yet. Bit Crusher. That's cool. Chris Jeff. What is that? Crab. I'm probably, I really don't want to insult anyone that might be Russian. Cheb, 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 Chef. I think it's, I, I personally think it's hilarious though when people that are not familiar with languages try to speak languages. So, what is this? I don't know. What is it? What are you? This is a wave shaper distortion based on Krevshib. Polynomials. This type of wave shapers were designed to output harmonics of sine wave inputs with a range of negative one to one. If you input a sine wave with any other amplitude range or really any other signal, you would get unusual results like unusual. Unusual's good. Unusual's good, boys and girls. So let's let's use the Christiv. Chib -sh Chib Shiv. I really am sorry for anyone that takes offense to Chib Shiv. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I just don't speak the language, and I'd love to learn it. But right now, I'm learning about Reactor. And... There might even be... Some Russian patrons of our German friends at Native Instruments. You don't even know. You don't know. But all are welcome. And all are included. In this fun land we like to call Reactor. And on this fun day. That we like to call Sunday. So, I have something really basic patched up here. A driver, a chip shift, and a tape delay, and the stereo. And 
let's just take a look at what that look like. It looks all right. Not bad. Little pedal board. Now, I don't know what any of it does yet. Let's see if we can hear something. That is definitely the tape delay. I just, oh, I just love it. I just love it already. What is this, dry wet? doesn't seem like a dry wet it's not working like that well i think that's because of how the outs are structured so yeah that's not really right we actually don't want the wet signal going out we just want the out signal going out i think so let's just let's eliminate confusions all together confucius's that's dry Unless I'm crazy, I hear no echoes. I feel good, but not that good. I hear no echoes, ladies and gents, right? So we can turn this up. What do we got? There's our echo. I like it a lot. So let's get that to dry and then let's maybe bring that in later. Let's see what Chib Shift does. Let's see what you got. Interesting. Very cool. That's really uh, like in your face. That's like really like reactive. It's like, okay, I can go light with it. I'm harmless. You don't know what I have. Sorry to do that to you guys, but I just had to show you. It's interesting because it responds to the input. It responds to the input gain in an, in an intelligent way. It doesn't, you know, you can really, you can just be on the edge of breakup. You know, you can just be really light. You can start digging in. And then you hear it. When you get really rough for that is Rin is that when you get super rough, that's when you want to run for the hills. Yep, run for the hills with that one. That's pretty that's pretty interesting. Let's keep that off for now. Let's find something cool to do. We're back on our dry sounds. We got nothing else going. Let's kind of find something different going on with this. Kind of like what I had earlier. That's interesting. Okay. Wow. Wow. All right. I understand. I know where my boundaries are. I get it. See, that's cool though. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with 
this territory. It's telling me I gotta live here. I'm all right with that. That's cool. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, uh, yeah, some of this, I don't know what this little crispiness means, but uh, I kind of like it up in here. A little bit better. Little bit. See what we got. See what these knobs are. Knob, no info. Knob, no info. That's helpful. No disrespect. From the lovely guys at Euro React who came up with this lovely tape delay, which I had no hand in creating. And neither did, neither did native instruments for that matter. You know, a user, a native instruments user, someone who, like me, knows and loves this program so much that they decided to make this so that you and I can appreciate it and know it and love it. A kudos to you guys. Spooky. that was but um fucking cool i have it recorded either way um that's pretty sweet though and uh you know no big deal just putting a pedal board together in reactor you know it's not something you would use it's i get it it's not something you would normally use i mean who would use this a geek you know someone who's like not into amplifiers <laughs> Someone who's not into, you know, having six strings all the time. You know what I mean? Like someone who's not into playing by the rules. That's who. Someone who is into making mistakes and saying, I'm going to run with it. Fucking see what that sounds like. Mistakes. Creativity. The path forward. Just keeping, keeping on, keeping on. It's all one and the same. 
you know? And as I've, as I've said before, and as I'll say again, I think if you just do, then it will come to you. The ideas, the steps, you know, the things that are cool, the things that are not cool, you know, it happens. That's part of creativity. You got to go down to go up. But when you're up, you know, you're... concludes today's episode it's a pretty simple concept you know reactor is not always a synth it processes audio a synth is audio and you process that audio you do what you want with it you filter it you drive it you chip ship it you tape delay it <laughs> you whatever you want to it and really audio is your playground the world is your fucking playground so Run any sort of audio through this thing, you know, just pull it up. It's the instrument, you know, it's not an audio plugin. Just pull it up. It's the instrument, pull up the instrument and hook up the audio yourself. The cables are at your fingertips, you know, put them wherever you want. Next time.